Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this Axis VM training course and the topic for today will be a function called the Report Maker. Um, I've opened one example that uh, it was already used for some of the previous lessons of this training course, but uh, the idea here is to have one uh, calculation done so that we can extract information from this calculation. And in particular, this report maker that we want to talk about a little today, uh, it's a tool to compile a full report of a project using report items. And in these items, we can consider the tables, the drawings, uh, and pictures uh, created by the program, uh, besides, for sure, some user-defined uh, information. Uh, reports are stored uh, in the model file, in the native axis file, and can be printed or saved in several formats, uh, but one of them I think quite interesting is uh, RTF, uh, which is a format that can be processed by uh, most of the word processor software solutions, and among them, uh, as you know, uh, the, the most known or the well known it is uh, Microsoft Word. So this is uh, I, I would say quite simple to understand. Um, when <clears throat> when we have the calculation done, we have a function in, in the main menu uh, in here that is uh, the report maker, and the report maker opens this big window. Uh, this is, in fact, uh, a manager for reports, so we can have uh, several uh, different reports for the same project. But basically, we can work with this like uh, creating a new report. So I will say, I will save, I will give it a name, I will call it CatSoft, for example. Uh, then I can start adding items here because I can add. Um, configurations to this report. But better than that, we have a couple of templates uh, which we can assess in this function here. So I can call the templates. Uh, these templates are organized like this and they are pre-prepared uh, for this type of calculation. Uh, so I, would, I will ask, the, for example, the continuous beam uh, and rebuild CatSoft according to this uh, template. So, in this template, we have a lot of things already pre-done. We can go through these uh, items uh, set. We can define a couple of things, like you can see, insert some comments, uh, and we have all the informations from um, what was calculated Okay, as you can see, we have a lot of things. Um, we have everything that was calculated uh, inside this uh, template. So when everything it, it is done, we can print it, we can export it to this RTF format, as I already mentioned, uh, or before we can make a preview out of this, okay? It is creating something. I will make this a little smaller, so 80%, for example. And uh, so this report created a couple of things, a couple of tables, okay, with information, with views of the loads. So all of these things were automatically done with this template, okay? It is quite easy to handle. Uh, we can add drawings also if we have them done or if we have them uh, on a gallery. So we can go and ask for the drawings. You have the formats here, BMP, uh, JPEG, PNG, whatever. And uh, we have another interesting functionality, which is we can go specifically to uh, our table uh, browser and uh, among all of these um, tables we have, we can 
go to a specific one, let us say that is uh, this one I have now uh, in my screen, and I have this function here, and this function adds uh, uh, this particular table to the report. So I would say if I go there, uh, I did not. Okay, it is this last one. So if I uh, create again a preview, uh, you should get uh, this, okay, you have it, this non-displacement uh, linear quasi-permanent. You have it in, uh, in the last uh, part because it was added to the end of the report. So we can uh, have this also uh, in our uh, created report. Another possibility, and these are very straightforward functions, we have a couple of functions that basically are, uh, it is a, a little more complete of what we have uh, in our uh, toolbar, but uh, these are very straightforward functions, okay? Um, we have the possibilities to enter uh, on the template, so we can uh, create a new report, save a template, whatever, but we can uh, enter inside the template, and inside the template we can change things, okay? We can uh, work on the definition on the, te on the template that is saved, and we can define the configuration for all of these things, all of these groups that we have here, okay? I, I'm not taking care much of what uh, I'm particularly doing, okay? It doesn't matter. But when I change things here, if I say okay, then I can save this to the original template or simply rebuild uh, what was created and uh, the program will uh, recalculate our uh, report according to the things that uh, we've changed on the on the template. So uh, this is, I think, quite easy to understand. Um, we will have uh, examples also, uh, not too far away from now, in this uh, training course. Uh, with some models and uh, with uh, all the steps to make the calculations in the report and to understand uh, what is needed to work with this. So, um, in these videos, uh, we will see more details about specific configurations for all of these items or at least the items that you have in each particular uh, model and file. Anyway, for any support, any question that uh, you may need uh, about these functions, uh, let us know, uh, send us an email or uh, put a comment uh, in the video and uh, we, we will be here for uh, answering uh, whatever you may need about this topic.